Hello everyone, welcome to Mission 7, a chance meeting with your host, the Super Blue Badger. And I have a couple of doozy things lined up for you today. You know why? Because I've done a little bit of grinding off screen and we've gone Royal Guard to level 2. Let's have a look at what it does. We can now block in the air and release the energy in the air. That accounts for a lot more than it sounds. Being able to block in mid-air saves you a ton of damage and a ton of time. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, my friends, and I suggest you use it wisely. Alternatively, we have also upgraded Rebellion to the full power. We have now Stinger level 3, which increases the range and maximum damage. Beautiful. While we're at it, might as well go, and buy, go ahead and buy Jetstream level 3 to get a little bit more oomph into our power. Beautiful. Let's start the mission, shall we? And so we left off after Dante got shot in the head. Twice. Up here is a secret mission, but I'm not going to do it today. You know why? Because it'll be a lot easier in the future. I'll pen that into another video later on. Shut up, Dante. More springy pads? The immediate reaction is to go up, but no. Go down. Anyway. There is a puzzle to be done here. In the library. Who would have thunk? Okay, these are the new enemies. These are the chess pieces. And each one correspond, uh, corresponds to the actual chess piece in real life. I'm not sure what these ones represent, actually. Probably the pawn. They can attack and move forwards, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Now that I think about it. I don't, I've not actually put too much thought into what these could be. I'm pretty sure they're the pawn, though. The Orhalion or fragment does energy, solves the puzzle. I don't give a fuck. As long as I can progress on through this fucking game, that's what I'm going to do. And now that we have the fragment, we may progress to the top of the tower. I actually really like this bit. Boing. Who oh, are boing. Good stuff. If only we all got to the top of our houses this way. I think life would be a little more exciting and filled with a few more broken legs. And we're already at the top, easy enough. Pitch Black Void. This is actually the area where Lady... Oh, I shouldn't have said that. The mysterious protagonist, the female protagonist, met Arkham. And they had their very dubious display in meeting. Oof. And also, as I said, the mechanics of Devil May Cry do not fit precision platform jumping. But it can't really be that hard, right? No, that's... really. I mean, how long could it possibly fucking be? There we go. Fucking finally. One of the more annoying blue fragment or pieces to get, but I'm not sure about the other ones. This level was filled with time wasters, as you may, may have imagined. This video is going to be long. Smash up some statues, get orbs. You don't have to fight these guys. Fuck them. Waste of time. Oh no, a blocked door, door Dante. Go left. Always go left. I don't see any monsters in here. Why is there a red door? Okay, time to introduce a new monster, and I've completely forgotten their name again. It won't be the last time we'll see of them, though. So I will, um... I'll, I'll, I'll update them, but for now, we will call them the Coffin Humpers. Coffin Humpers are actually one of the more frustrating monsters in the game, despite having no physical attacks other than to swing their stack or their coffin around. Which isn't actually supposed to be a method of attack, it's just to knock you away so that they can release spirits into the overworld and unleash more dot monsters onto you. And if you leave them alone, they will spawn monsters infinitely, I believe. So it's best to take care of them as swiftly as possible. But on that note, should you need practice with a specific technique or ability or whatever, or just, you know, slaughter-thon, it's best to just leave them alone and just have your way with them. 
Not that you want to have your way with sand creatures. I mean, it's a bit dusty. All up on your groin and joints. Don't hump sand people, please. This has been a Blue Badger announcement. <laughs> While they're swinging their coffin, I suggest that you give them a healthy dose of shotgun to the face. This is always useful when there are very wide sweeping enemies around. Sometimes you just, you know, you want to lay in the all out offensive, but you just can't. You have to take your steps back and cock your shotgun, motherfuckers, because it's duck season time. Even though there are no ducks in our general vicinity. Easy enough. The siren shriek, the sorrowful, sorrowful shriek of a siren, calms even the hottest of flames. I wonder what we could use that for. I'll let your mind ponder on that for a while. And here we use the Orcalion fragment, I believe it's called. Orcalion, yes. And if you had forgotten it, you would have to go all the way back to go and fucking pick it up. And here is a triple S fucking combat adjudicator. I fucking hate this bitch. And you know what? Because we're not in Swordmaster, st Swordmaster style, why the fuck am I doing this? Because we need the additional attack to make this all the easier. I'm not sure if it's even physically possible without Swordmaster, but it is really fucking annoying to do with or without. So. I think I should... Dante, stop. There we go. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to this. We'll swap styles in just a moment. Okay, elevator done. And now we are back at the entrance of the Tower of Temenagru. And fortunately the item statue is there and we will be going back to the Swordmaster style for obvious reasons. Because you know why I like being able to kill things faster. Who doesn't like being able to kill faster in an action game? And as you can imagine this flaming door is where we use the Siren Shriek to call the flaming hells of terror, I suppose. Man, I really need to work on my dramatic voice. So instead, I'm going to commentate like this. We are going to fight some lusts today, as you can see in front. Ow! Yes, there are lots of lusts everywhere, and they are a massive pain in the ass. But look at that airstrike, man. Can't even take it. Anyway, we'll be going back to my normal voice, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear my, uh... Not my normal voice. Not in... No, that's not how I normally sound. Hopefully. What the hell? A wall? Time to open the door the only way we know how. With violence. A ball filled with skulls, you say? I think we should hit it. For whatever reason. And now I welcome you to another form of weapon cancelling. If you have the Swordmaster style active, most melee weapons have the ability to... Okay, while I redo this, I'll explain to you this new form of weapon cancelling. It's basically, with the form of weapon cancelling combined with the Swordmaster style, the special attack button almost always gives you an ability to strike in mid-air three times before coming down. But... If you time your weapon switches properly while spamming the circle button to enact in the aerial strikes, you can actually stay in the ground, off the ground, for a long, long time. Because if you do that, well, basically, how do I explain it? You just constantly keep swiping in the air without a move that brings you back down to the ground, and you'll just fly around and you know, slash bitches up all the time. Dante learns to fly through the sheer power of his swords. It's beautiful, I tell you. Just like that. Sort of. Not exactly. We'll be seeing a much better example of it in the next video. 
hopefully, maybe next video, maybe the one after. And I welcome you to one of the best training grounds of Devil May Cry. For the most of the professional players, they love this room because it's tight and closed, and it's filled with these fucking... I think they're the monsters of greed, actually. They are the seven sins of... One of the seven sins named and titled Greed. And they essentially just constantly keep spawning monsters for you to kill. So if you need practice, come here. It's the best... One of the best places, I believe, next to Mission 18, I believe. If you want to grind up your styles or um, get some red orbs, I would assume. Or at least just to practice your techniques to become a badass motherfucker like a blue badger that I am! Motherfuckers. Man, a cup of tea always helps me before a commentary match, don't you know? Well, no, you don't know, do you? Because you're not a commentator like me. Well, if you are, shut up. We'll dispatch with these quickly. The Lusts, as I said in the previous video, actually do give me a hard time, and I do not appreciate it. Not one bit. Because they're absolutely fucking everywhere. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Did someone slip some PCP into your milk? Motherfucker, because I don't need your shit! So... As you may see, I just want to dispatch of these fucking greed monsters quickly because they piss me the fuck off! Get out of my way! I cannot kill monsters fast enough to dispatch of this bitch! I am a rage badger today! Denied, motherfucker! Denied! Okay, badger, it's time to calm down. Take your medicine. Take your pills. There we go. Okay. Now it's time for Calm Badger. And so today, we will be progressing onwards. In the calm tone of voice, Badger will be very, very quiet. Because Badger is a good Badger with his medication. You're doing a good job today, Dante. Oh. oh, that was nice elevator music while it lasted. And now it is time to take on this triple S combat adjudicator. I still don't know how to pronounce the word that it is, but... That is what it is, as a badger is. And so we will continue on without the medication. We don't need the medication. Yes, I can purge the medication from my body. And now that the medication has been purged from my body, I will sh talk to you. I mean, this is another one of the time wasters in this level, and another reason why it is so long. God damn. But I'm sure that we will be over with this in just a jiffy. About fucking time! Jesus Christ! Oh, okay, so we've got that blue orb fragment and now we can move on. And instead we are greeted by nothing more than more fucking greeds and I'm tired of this bullshit. And my health is starting to get a little low right now and I'm starting to get a little worried. But there is an item statue just around the corner waiting for us to pick up a healthy, delicious health item. A healthy, delicious health item. Yes, Badger. That makes tons of sense. I am getting my ass kicked. And this is not what I need right now. We do not need a mini boss right here, right now, when I have one quarter, less than a quarter of my health left. Maybe one-eighth of my health left, perhaps. Can we do it? Even with the powerful weapon cancelling under our belt, a couple of strikes from this motherfucker and we are finished. 
Roll up the... No. Ah, fuck. No. One more. Come on. No. We could do this. If only I had Royal Guard right now, this wouldn't be happening. Come on. Come on. No. No. Let's never talk of this again. Let's start over fresh and pretend that I never actually died. Okay, yeah, yeah, you agree with me? That's great. I never died. I never died. Instead, th this is the first time I've been in this room. And these Reed monsters certainly don't make me mad, not Blue Badger. <sighs> yes. Yes, a cup of tea always helps. I think I'll have a sip right now. Refreshing. And so we will defeat this motherfucker for the second time, because we've only seen him. We saw him in the uh, first video. Not like we fought him and lost, ever. At all. You could tell from my perfectly natural and calm voice that we were never defeated by this chap. Me defeated by a mini boss out of the nerve. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you got me that time, Hellside Demon. And that time. But bitch, I will skin your ass and turn it into my rug. Even if you are made out of bones. And down you go like the bitch you are. Now wasn't that refreshing, kids? And so with that, now that we have picked up the Crystal Skull, we may progress through the blocked off door. And I accidentally skipped past this cutscene because I'm an idiot. But it was just a door opening. Do you, did you really need to see it? And this is the item statue that I was talking about in a, in a rerun that never happened. Anyway, um, we'll be buying a health item to top ourselves off. And we will be swapping to the Royal Guard style. Why, you ask? Because there is a very important boss battle coming up. And I will be doing it with no health items during the battle. And I will only use Rebellion for the me re reasons mentioned before. And also, thank you for the tip in the pro previous video. I wish I could remember your username right now, I'm sorry. But thank you for reminding me that Dante actually uses the Force Edge in Devil May Cry 1. And time, it is time to face off against our brother Virgil. Is it a time for the final battle at last as we may have seen in that opening cutscene? Well, I will not be commentating during this section. Why? Because I want you to realize just how fucking awesome I am in this fight. Every blue flash you see is a perfect parry, where I completely deflect from a single tap to just negate all damage. Rebellion only, no health items, Ebony and Ivory. Let's take this on, Dante. You showed up. You sure know how to throw a party. No food, no drinks, and the only babe just left. My sincerest apology, brother. 
I was so eager to see you, I couldn't concentrate on preparations for the bash. Whatever. At any rate, it's been a whole year since we last met. How about a kiss from your little brother? Or better yet, how about a kiss from this? So, this is what they call a heartwarming family reunion, eh? You got that right.
What could this fate mean for our rockabilly rock star hero, Dante? What is this beast within him that has awoken? What the fuck happened to Rebellion? And where is my mummy? I have no idea. And you have no idea how long that episode fucking took me. How many tries, how many battles. And we all get a B rank for it. This has been an episode of Devil May Cry 3, and I will see you next time, dear viewers. After I save. Like so. Good night, everyone.